Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing World of Tanks. I haven't played this game in a few months, so I was kind of bored the other day and I thought, why not play a little bit? Just try it out. I had originally quit playing this game because it was getting so bad and there's just so many stupid mistakes going on. I just it wasn't getting, it wasn't fun for me anymore, so I just quit. So after spending about three months not playing this game, I decided to come back, and this was one of the first battles that I had, I guess. We're on Winter Himmelsdorf. I'm in my box tank SU 100Y. Tier seven match. Really not too much of a problem for this tank. 198 penetration, of course, with this gun. Looks like we got a KV-85 and a Black Prince. I'm not going to shoot the KV-85 because that would just be... Knock his tracks off. Probably wouldn't do any damage at all. But I get spotted and he comes out, so... 417 damage right there. And I was trying to angle a little bit on the way back. I know this thing doesn't have any armor really to speak of, but that shot just went right through the gun mantlet, I believe. Hit the ground, so no problem there. Here I am being stupid, not thinking. I'm thinking that Stuart is going to come out, out right in front of me. I'm going to get a perfect shot. Is that I finally realized I'm looking down the wrong alleyway, but no worries. I know that Black Prince and KV-85 are there, so I just peek out a little bit, see if I can light him up, back off a little bit, and there's a Yak Panther behind me that's going to be helping me out here. At this point, I'm really considering going out since that Black Prince is, has a start turned the other way, really. So, I decide not to risk it, though. I do find out that if I turn a little bit, I'm able to see down the correct alley this time and get a nice shot into him. And so does the Ag Panther, so reduces his guy to very little health. Fortunately, he gets away right before I reload, so there's not going to be another shot on him. Now we need to do something. The battle's not looking too good. A lot of their heavy tanks are in the middle, but... Subcast and I've been paying attention to me. Shoot him, set him on fire. One shot kill. And these guys are just getting slaughtered over here. The battle has completely turned over here. E25. I don't know if he's not paying attention or what, but 475 damage to him. While everyone else is going off over there... I set my sights on the land whale here. According to my friend, you don't see these too much anymore. The Tog. I know he's got... He can... I don't know if he could destroy me, but... He just took me down to 405 hit points, so... I didn't want to take any more damage here. Now that I'm reloaded, I can afford to take a few hits from him. There he goes. Got max at full speed ahead, right down that alleyway. So I think it's about time we go and chase him down. Right behind me is that Ag Panther helping me out too. So he's on full health. We should be able to take this guy out no problem at all. Since he's on full health, I'll let him go first and. I wasn't exactly sure if I could one-shot kill him or not, so that's why I held off a little bit. But apparently I can. 480 damage. Finish off the dog too. Now all that's left is a 3601H and a T3485, which both happen to be on the completely other side of the map. I'm 
pretty confident we've got this game no problem. Um, yeah, it's just two tier 6 tanks against all of us. Our team still has majority of our tier 7s in a box tank, so. It looks like that SG-152 is having problems with the T-34 over there. I don't know how he manages to, I don't know what's going on over there, but he manages to turn around, I guess, and finish him off to end the battle. Playing this battle, I hadn't think I was, I didn't think I was really doing that well. I just, I, it was just a normal game for me, but this post-game results, I guess, like, begs to differ, so I got a mastery badge, ace tanker. Um, arsonist for setting that Hellcat on fire. Fire for effect, of course, and a high caliber metal. Damage wise, out of both teams I did the most. I didn't think I did almost 3,000 damage, but apparently I did, so. 2,816 damage, 2 kills, and 1,144 base experience. Looks like a lot of people on our team got medals. Wow, a lot of fire for effects. A lot of fires were set that game, apparently. Six shots fired, six of those hit and penetrated. Uh, I already said David. 417 damage from 300 meters or more. I received four hits, three of those penetrated, and one of those from the KB-85 to not. and went right through the gun mainlet. So that means I blocked 250 damage by armor, even though I really didn't. I spotted a vehicle, damaged five enemy tanks, destroyed two. Um, 49,738 credits. That was very nice. And after re resupply, repairs, uh, I came out with 43,833 credits. This was my first victory of the day in this tank. And apparently there's a bonus for premium vehicle tier. I have no idea what that is. But that's another 343 experience for a total of 2,600 experience that all goes straight to my crew, which is very, very nice. I'm training them on their either second or third skill now. That was very nice to add. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys later.